Can you handsome? Hello, beautiful. Mm. And why is a nicely dressed, handsome man like you walking under the scorching sun? Story of my life, baby. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So can I have the honor of giving you a ride to wherever you go in? Ah, don't worry, I'll pass. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm almost at my house. I, 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 Sweetheart, even if you're standing by your gate, I want to give you a ride into your compound. You want to ride? You say you want to ride me? <laughs> okay, well, the thing is, I stay pretty close. Uh, my house is just behind the stadium. And by that, you mean Azikiwe Road? Oh, I see. You're quite familiar with the access, right? My darling, I was born and bred in this town, so I know every nook and cranny. Nolly Home TV. Yeah. No, I didn't go to work today. The governor traveled. I won't be back for two days. I didn't travel with him because it wasn't necessary. So I'm off today. Yeah, I just chilling up there. Mom, 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 mom. Rita, I'll have to call you back. Rita, okay? All right. Okay. He just called. He said he's close by. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. That's good news. Yes, it is. Mom. I hope he's as handsome as we described him. You need to see him. This, this man is, permit me to say, a goddess. I'm <gasps> sorry. But, oh, that he's so fine. <laughs> Yes, he is. He's more handsome than I explained. Really? Mm -hmm. Then I'll be glad to meet him. I can't wait for you to meet him, Mom. You definitely <laughs> like him. You know what? When he comes, make him comfortable. I'll be upstairs. Then come and call me. I would do as you have said. I'll just go outside him. and wait for him. Just go. <laughs> you good. You sure, are you? Good. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure I shouldn't wear something? No, else? no, no, no. You look good the way you are. Okay. <laughs> Just All right, Mom. Namdi. Namdi. Oh. Huh? Good afternoon. Afternoon. Listen, I'm expecting someone, a very important guest, not just important, someone very close to my heart. You said? Okay, sorry. Close to your heart. No, no misbehaviors today. Behave yourself. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry, 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 ma'am. Uh, who is this man that is making you sound this way? Will you just shut the hell up? No, verse. What gave you the guts to ask me that kind of question? Are you sick or something? No, verse. I don't say make I ask because I've not seen you sounded this way before. No, All I'm asking is that you behave yourself today. If you try anything stupid, you know the way you say it. You know go like waiting I go do you. So um come in. Come in. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> this is a nice place. I love it. Um uh, there is nothing here. You're just saying that to make me happy. No, you're just sounding that way because you want to be modest. Come on, I love what your mom has done with this place. It's beautiful. It takes a woman a lot of class to put this together. Simple and as nice as it looks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, what do I offer you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. For oh, you. come on. Don't see that. I can fix you a drink real quick. Come on. But listen, I know what you can do, all right? I know you can whip up something really nice for me if I want it, but I'm okay. <laughs> I just got here. Let me settle in. <laughs> okay, so I'll just... <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just... Why are you all flustered? What <laughs> is it? <What's> going on? <laughs> I don't know. I just have butterflies in my tummy, but it's okay. I'll just go upstairs and call my mom, okay? That'll be good. All right. Be good. Sure. <gasps> mom! Oh, I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. Not at all. All right. You requested to see me. Oh. That was what? Do you care for anything? No, I'm fine. 
Anne, something is bothering me. And I feel like sharing it with you. What could that be? I'm in love with Charles. And I want to go all out for him. What do you mean you want to go all out for him? What I just said does not need further explanation. You know exactly what I'm talking about. To be honest with you, I don't know. Come on, girlfriend. Stop stressing me. Why don't you give meaning to your words so I can be on the same page with you? I love Charles. Mom! Babe! This is my prince, Charlie. Honestly, I don't know how else to make him understand that I love him. You know he loves you too. Just that he may be distracted at the moment. What could be distracting him? What could it be? Another girl, of course. Are you saying that Charles can cheat on me? Why not? Is he not a man? <laughs> it's not possible. Mm. I don't think Charles can cheat on me. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Then why did he stop taking your calls? Well, that I don't know. <laughs> the truth is, he's seen another woman. Mm. Mm. If that is true, mm. I will kill that girl. <laughs> it has not gotten to the point of killing someone. You. you will not understand. I can kill to keep my man. Are you telling me you're willing to go to jail because of a man? Who cares? Hmm. I'll make out time to visit him and I'll tell him that you love him dearly. So? And I also find out the reason why he's not taking your calls. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. What are friends for? Babe, what's going on? What's happening? What happened? Can you just talk to me, please? It's a long story. Not a story for today. <laughs> well, cut it short. Because as you can see, I'm going nowhere. We need to talk about this. Soon heart, calm down. Trust me when I tell you that this is nothing you should bother yourself about. Don't tell me not to bother about this. I am bothered. What was the meaning of what happened in there? Not in the mood to talk about it. You are not in the mood to talk about this. <sighs> Charles, is there something you're hiding from me? No. Nothing. Obviously, you were hiding something from me, and if you won't talk about it, then it's fine. Have a nice day. What? I can't believe you're the one saying this. What has come over you? If you must know, love has come over me. And I will see it to the very end. Love? Hmm. My darling, before you embark on this year, love story or whatever you call it, I hope you know falling in love is against our rules. If you must know, 
rules can be broken. On the contrary, rules are meant to be kept, not broken. Right. Rules can only be kept by those who didn't make the rule. But for us who make the rule, we can break it to suit ourselves. I can't believe you're the one saying this. Come to think of it. What makes you think Charles will fall in love with you and then marry you? That shouldn't bother you. I will handle it myself. <laughs> Are you planning to hold him with powers unseen? Well, I pray it doesn't get to that. But if it does, I will not think twice. Unbelievable. Gloria! You would do all that for a man to be with you? Not just to be with me, but to marry me. You know what, I'm just telling you this because you brought the guy to us. And I'm glad you don't have any interest in him. But I, I cannot possibly go to school. But you are the one I have honors of explaining exactly what has happened. What was the meaning of what transpired here today? You will not marry that young man. Why, if I may ask? Just take it from me that you will not marry him. But do you know Charles before now? Yes. Good. So what's your reason for saying that I will not marry him? Meldine, if you have any other question, go ahead and ask me. But if it has to do with that young man, I will not interfere. Mother, that. for goodness sake, explain to me what is going on because I am really getting upset already. Nothing is going on. Nothing you say. Well, Mother, I don't believe you. Belief is a choice. So I don't care if you believe me or not. <laughs> I have made a decision. And the decision has been communicated without any ambiguity. Know this and no peace. You will not marry that man. So what did she want? That one, no. forget about her. Looks jealous. If you want your relationship with Madeline to be on the positive, you have to do away with all these women. I don't have anything going with that one. So, what is she going to do here? She came to talk on behalf of her friend. Who is her friend? Amaka. Oh. The beautiful one. Well, if you ask me, uh, I think Amaka likes you very much. She is in love with you. In fact, I thought she was the one you were going to settle down with. So let me take this. Hello. Hey, Ansem. How are you doing? I'm okay. You don't sound well, dear. Any problem? Um, just uh, bothered. Personal issues. Will you let me into it, please? No, I cannot. Why? Because it is personal. It's okay, dear. Will you be free later in the evening? No. When will you be free? I don't know for now. It's okay, dear. I'll keep in touch then. Bye for now. Mm. Bye. Another one of your girls, I suppose. Yes. But that was then. This is a new me. Will there ever be a new you, Charles? Oh, my God. You're back? Yeah. Um, go, go, go. Yeah. Kiss me. How did it go? 
I met an angry guy today. <laughs> and the discussion didn't go well. Give me a hint. Talk to me. He was not just in the mood to talk to anybody. Hmm. Even when you told him, you came to talk about me. Yeah. Is my Charles okay? He is. Just that he's not happy at the moment. That's all. Maybe I should go and see him myself. No. Ah. No, no. Why, if I may ask? You may experience the same thing or even worse. So what would you advise me to do? <laughs> At this point, my head is full. I'll think about it later, okay? I'm tired. I need to sit. Hello. Hey, baby. Thank goodness you picked up. How are you? I'm not fine. Why? Are you seriously asking me why I'm not fine? Really? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, baby, I, I, I take that back. Better. Um, have you had dinner? Yes, I have. Okay, I, I just got to know how you're doing. Obviously, you're happy that I'm not doing good. No, baby, no, not at all. I... All right, thank you for calling. Good night. Uh, baby, please, just hold on, please. Uh, don't end the call yet. Um. <clears throat> what is it? If you have anything important to say, please do. I need to go back to bed. Okay, um, please, can I see you tomorrow? When and where? Um, I'll call you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. to tell you time and place. All right. Good night. Good night, baby. Listen, honey, I called you out here so we can talk about what happened yesterday. 
Okay, I'm listening. First and foremost, I am sorry about the way I walked off. It wasn't nice, you know, leaving your mother's house in that fashion wasn't good at all. I'm sorry. All right, that's fine. We're on a cool page. Uh, can we forget all that happened yesterday? Are you being serious right now? Really, you want us to forget what happened yesterday? So you called me out here, telling me that you needed to talk to me, and you're asking me to forget what happened yesterday and move on? Are you being serious? Yes, I'm serious. Charles, tell me what's going on. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. So what was that shock on your face yesterday when you saw my mother? And you ran out immediately, she walked in. Sweetheart, sweetheart, please. Can we just let that remain in the past? Okay? Hmm. Please. All right. Fine. I'll do as you say. But if you're not ready to explain things to me, don't you ever call my phone again. Have a nice day. So, were you able to come up with something? Nothing. What about you? Well, I did. Tell me about it. See, you need to offer this guy money. Make him to forget about your daughter and move on with his life. Hmm. You're right. I never thought it was that direction. You see why they say two heads are better than one? Not just two heads. Two good heads. You have a point there. Oh, in that case... Stay here. Let me rush out and rush back. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm coming, okay? Okay. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't tell me that you were coming. You just finished having a discussion with my mom, yeah? Yes, that is true. I thought you were going to deny it. I never lied to you. I never lied to you. I admit I used to tell a bunch of lies before now, but I don't lie anymore, and I don't know what it would take for you to believe that I have never lied to you. So what was the discussion all about? Well, your mother is still insisting that we cannot be together. Same thing she told me yesterday. Okay. But the big question is why? I don't know. Oh, Charles, come on, don't give me that crap. Don't tell me you don't know. You know, and I want to hear it from you. I have no idea. Don't forget, I'm not the one who said that we can't be together, right? I'm not a mind reader. She's in a better position to tell us why we cannot be together. Really, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Huh. I can see you want it the hard way. How? How? What are you talking about? I'll definitely give it to you the hard way. My past is here to haunt me. Who would have thought that my past will come calling this early? Oh, Lord, help me.
Hi. Hi. Oh, oh. Um, sorry, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. What do you want to buy? Actually, I, I didn't come to buy. Uh, why are you here then? I want us to talk. I, I don't understand. You mean you left your house to my shop just for us to talk? Yeah. When does the session never end? Okay. What do you want to talk about? I want us to talk about you. I like you, Amaka. What? Ha. You know my name? See, Amaka, I, I am not here to ask you out for a relationship. I want to make you my wife. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey. Ah, wait a minute. You, you rehearsed that and they assured you that it works. Because I do not understand what you are talking about. What do you mean? I am very serious. I want to make you my wife. That is, if you will give me the go-ahead. <laughs> I am not interested. Why? Because I am in a serious relationship. I hope that has cleared your doubts. Now, please, leave. <sighs> I love you so much. Can you please give me a chance? N O No with capital letter. Leave. Please. Okay, I say you should leave. Leave my shop now. Go. Oh, fine, fine, I will leave. Get out. Move. The moves. Nonsense. Ha! She can't bad luck with this one again. I reject you. Please. Spoil my, my mood. Food is ready, I guess. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Where is my room? She's outside, ma'am. Oh. Okay. Um, ma, I will be taking my leave after that. From what time will you be resuming work tomorrow? Um, 10 a.m. Ma. Okay. Can you make it earlier? I am expecting some visitors from the deputy governor's office tomorrow. Okay, no problems, ma. What time would you like me to resume tomorrow? 7 a.m. But if you don't mind, you can sleep over so you can keep the time. No problem, no. I will be here as early as 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Call her for me. No problem. Let me call my name. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Lunch is served. Okay. So, shall we? I'm not hungry yet. You're not? May I know why? I don't understand. Do I owe you any explanation? I'm sorry, Emma. You better be. But your mother asked me to come with Can you. Can you just tell her I said I am not hungry? Okay.
Where is she? Ma, she said she's not hungry. Did you tell her I said she should come with you? Yes, ma. Okay. Remember to come on time tomorrow. I will, ma. Have you been avoiding me? Madeline, I am not avoiding you. Really. Of course you are. Nick, you've been acting all official with me. Why? Yes, because I'm only doing my job. Have I been interfering in your job? No, 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 no. I didn't say so. So what's with this attitude? Nick, I don't like it when you do this to me. Each time you avoid me, it breaks my heart. I'm sorry. Okay? You're sure you're sorry? Come on, Madeline. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Okay. If you are truly sorry, mm -hmm. I want us to be together later tonight. Um, okay. Uh, we try. Are <laughs> you still scared of my mom? Please don't go there. <laughs> I, I know you are, but not to worry. In no time, I'll tell her about us. Okay? Come here. <laughs> Thank you so much, okay? All right, you too. Love you. I love you too, so <laughs> I'll see you later tonight. Right. So this is it, Nick. Oh, mom, it's not what you think. Rules are rules, Nick. If we do not have rules, we are savages. Madam, is not what you think. Madam. I'm still saying that I'm sorry. If you can give me the space, I will explain. Your services are no longer needed. And your job terminated. Ma. Please don't do this to me. Please, I swear with everything I hold sacred, I have nothing to do with your daughter. I hate it when you lie to me. Because the signs are very obvious, so don't even irritate me with that. Your daughter loves me, but I told her I'm not interested. Yes. Good. The only way to prove that you're not interested is to leave. Please don't do this to me. It is already done. What you have is a check of 500,000. My daughter's future is of paramount importance to me, more than whatever I have with you. Ma, please believe me. Believe me, I'm not doing anything with your daughter. Well, I don't believe you. And the only way to satisfy my curiosity is to lay you off. Goodbye, Nick. Ma, please. Don't do this to me, please. If I see you within my compound in the next five minutes, I'll call the police. Ma, it hasn't gotten to that. One minute wasted already. Ma, please. Two minutes. Ma. Ma, please.
Franca, that was so fast. I had to do what I had to do to avoid a story that touches the heart. Yeah, I understand. But this guy said he's not having anything with your daughter. Yeah, he said that. But from the look of things, it won't be long before something will start happening. So I just had to play safe. Anyway, you're right. That was a bold step you made there. Did he tell you I gave him 500k? Oh, yeah, he did. So why is he complaining? He just said he likes you. Hmm. In fact, he said a whole lot of good things about you. Honestly. You know I'm not in this game for that love thing. I know. That was the satisfaction of our sexual urge. And anything short of that is not acceptable. I know. Now you know exactly what I'm talking about. Please, what do I offer you? Forget that boy. Oh, anything hot will be fine for me. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm <laughs> Mom. Mom. Yeah. You sent for me. You said you wanted to have a conversation with me earlier today. Oh, that I um I actually forgot. Um it's it's really nothing, Mom. It's just that um I am. Um, I have fallen in love with Nick Mom. You didn't just say that. I did, Mom. That guy was my driver. He's at the lowest ebb of life. Mom, that is why I have you. You have the connections. You can talk to anybody. You know the governor. They can get him something better to do with his life. Mom, he can actually become a better person. Please. I don't want to have this conversation with you, Madeline. Mom, Mom you please. I... Allow me to concentrate. Why are you always harsh towards the men I fall in love with? Why? Medley, leave my sight. Leave so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. Mom, I am going to leave. But just so you know, you hurt me each time you do this. You know nothing at all. Small madam, come on. What's in What is wrong with you? Are you sick or something? Are, are you stupid? Why do you keep calling me small madam? Okay. Sorry. No verse. No verse. No verse. Where is Nick? I've been looking for him. I can't find him. Nick. Nick. Nick is gone. What do you mean Nick is gone? Gone to where? Uh, I saw him last night. Living with his bags. So I, I asked him where, where he's going to. He said, uh, Madame sacked him. Madame. Uh, Mom. Mom. Why are you doing this? I don't want to be polluted, so I had to sack him. You had to sack him? Yes. It is obvious you don't want my happiness. That is wrong assertion and I want you to withdraw that. I would not withdraw it, Mom. Why are you doing this to me after everything I told you? Because you've been hooking up with the wrong guys. <laughs> Mom, come on. You, you and I know Nick is not, is not, is not a bad person. He's not one of those guys, Mom. You yeah, said it yourself before you employed him that you needed people who you can trust to work with you. Medley. 
I don't want to have this conversation with no, you. No, mother, you are going to have this conversation with me. Are you trying to block my way? Don't try me. Mom! I'm begging you, please. What is the meaning of this? Why are you kneeling down before me? Oh, you know exactly why I'm kneeling down here. Just bring him back, please, Mom. I love him. I don't know what's wrong he may have done, but I I'm pleading with you, please, Mom. Please. My answer is emphatic no. Why? Bring a neat guy and I will approve your relationship with the guy. What has Nick done? You haven't said anything, Mother. Madeline. I want the best for you, and the best you shall get. Mom, is there something you're not telling me? Nothing. You can't say nothing. You just asked me to present a neat guy. Is Nick not neat enough? I, I told him. I, I told you I met him in a bar as a bartender, right? Mom, you said that, but what's wrong with working in a bar? I actually salute him for doing that. A lot of graduates will sit at home looking for white-collar jobs that may never come. But he humbled himself and got a job in a bar. Moves like that should be encouraged. Begley, will you stop? Stop making excuses for a guy who's more ambitious in life. Of what use will a bartender be to you as a boyfriend? Mother, you cannot dismiss him by saying that he is not ambitious. Frustration can lead one into doing something he or she doesn't want to do, but he's led him into doing something legitimate. Mother, he actually told me himself that that wasn't what he wanted to do. You can't blame him. You are being myopic about this and I don't like it. Mother, that is the reason I love him. I'm begging you, please. Love is an emotion that fades when the fantasy is gone. If you must be with a man, be with him because of the substance and not the emotions. Men like Nick have nothing to offer any lady. They are just there for the money, which I refer to as means. Once the means is not there, they disappear into thin air. You are very correct, mother. But everything you just told me now has got nothing to do with Charles. By way of clarified generalization, Nick and Charles are the same. Wait a minute, mother. I don't understand anything you're saying. They live the same type of life. They're after women for money. Come on, mother. Don't Madeline, say that. Madeline, I'm telling you about somebody I know. Even the car he drives was bought to him by a woman. But mother, mother, please. Stop. I won't have you associate my man with the insult of a gigolo. I am not just associating him with a gigolo. I am confirming to you that he is a gigolo. And I stand to ask you. Wait, let me tell you. The women he sleeps with see him as the best. Do we, but do you even have any evidence to substantiate this claim? Do you? Do you want me to tell you more? You haven't said anything. You are just accusing my man. <laughs> so late. <laughs> There's this new guy I just met. What? He is simply a firebrand. He is electrified. Cute. He can drive any woman. Any woman crazy. Anne, I'm dripping already. Hmm. The way you're sounding it, you're making it look as if this guy is good with the head. And wait. Hey. Gloria. Gloria. Stop saying things that will make me go gaga. This guy is just angelic. Oh. I'm already imagining the experience. Oh, Franca. We have seen men. I mean, young Man, but you see this guy, <laughs> he's different. <laughs> the guy is just angelic. <laughs> hey. Everything, what nice. does he look like? Everything hard. 
Wait. The way you're even talking about this guy, you're already driving me crazy. Okay. Let me show you. But don't shout because <laughs> you're about to scream. Okay. Hey. Let me see. Just take a look at. Let me see. Just see. Just see for yourself. Oh my God. Let me see. Look at the guy. Woo! He looks so cute. <laughs> Wait, I'll give me my phone. Ah, Still, I find boys. Yeah. Beg. This guy is cute. And He's he looks strong. Everything, everything nice. Right. Anne, can we have his contacts, please? Mm -hmm. Well, I already have his contacts. Mm. You did? Yes. <laughs> and I asked him if he can take multiple ladies in one night. And what did he say? He assured me that he can. Mm. So I'm going to invite him over so we can do a lot. When I mean a lot with him. He already agreed to that. <laughs> that is what he does for a living. Interesting. A gigolo par excellence. Um, okay. Like, how much will he charge? Should I be asking him that? Maybe... You can arrange like, let's say, 300k or... Nah, we're too big for that. Let's make it 500k. So you can keep his tongue busy. Busy. Actually, right. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm crazy. crazy. I can't wait, You're baby. Crazy. Baby, you <laughs> enjoy this guy. Really? Look, man, looking at him in the picture, he looks so if strong. I just... Mother, this... This is... This is so difficult to imagine. Did you finally have him as planned? We're irresistible. Any man we come across never said no to us. Really? I prepared your mind for the story because you insisted. Mom, tell me. I want to know. I just tell me everything that happened between you ladies and Charles. Of course, I will tell you. Because at this point, there is nothing to hide anymore. So ladies, let's order something. I think it's better. Go ahead, Amanda. Waiter! Waiter! Ma! Please come. Yes, ma. We need um two bottles of Champagne and anyone care yeah, for red wine? No okay, okay, brandy, okay, okay. Get one bottle. Brandy, bring wine, bring champagne. Bring anything Just you have. Bring, fill okay. the table. I'll be right back. Franca. Huh? Oh. You like enjoyment. But what is keeping him? He's coming. He's on his way. Are you sure? Just calm down. He's coming. Hey, ladies. I am really, really sorry I kept you out. Oh. I'm sorry. So I'm really, really sorry. Forgive me, Lady Anne, please. My apologies. But I'm, I'm here now. Oh my goodness, you all look so good. Ladies, me Charles. Charles, they are my friends. I can see. I'm Gloria, the honey lady. Gloria, so I can call you honey. <laughs> right. And I'm Rita. Nice to meet you, Rita. My name is Charles. My name is Franca. Nice to meet you, Lady Franca. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, ladies. He's already aware of what's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go down now. <laughs> you know, the way you put it just made it, you know, really, really funny. It's about to go down. <laughs> The way I see you, you seem to be a professional in this. Ah, I don't know if to use the word professional because that means a lot of things to different people. Professional. But I can tell you this for sure. I know just how to get around a woman's body. I make her feel really pleasured. I'm going to take you to cloud nine, trust me. So what are we waiting for? Exactly. We should be busy by now. Yes. Ah. Honey, Gloria, slow down now. <laughs> Uh, Lydia knows how I work. Uh, I don't get down until I'm credited. 
Oh, yeah. that won't be a problem. Okay. Um, I just sent you 500k to your account. Ooh, sounds good to me now. So we are good. And if you do so well, additional 200k will be paid into your account. By the time I'm done with you, baby, you're going to be doing over a million in my account. I assure you. We are oh. all for that. <coughs> Ouch. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there. You'll see me soon. I'll be something left. Something just came up. Oh. Emergency. I'll join you ladies soon. No, you can go. Frank, you will miss. I'm not going to miss. Charles. Charlie. Don't be a waste if I get back. Nah. You know, it only gets stronger. After some time. It sounds so good. I'm a machine. <laughs> it gets better. I can't wait. Okay, darling. Okay, bye bye. All right. All right. Don't All right. be too All long, right. okay? Woo! Okay. Ah. So where do we go? Hey, you look tensed. Is that a problem? I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go. No, we can't. Why? My daughter just returned from school. Oh, okay. We have to reschedule. You want us to reschedule till when? I will call you once she goes back. Ah, <sighs> why can't we just move to a hotel? Charles, you know I will not feel free to enjoy you the way I want to in the hotel room. Mm. You know I'm someone in government. I'm true. Uh, it's all right then. I'll uh, I'll just wait for your call. Okay. <laughs> Mom, I'm still trying to understand what you're saying because you're saying the same thing. Admit it to me, did you have sex with him or not? Well, I almost did. You almost did, but you did not. Why are you hammering on me going down with him as if that was the only thing I said here? Did you not hear the other things I explained? Is that the kind of man you want to settle down with? Well, the kind of man who sleeps with society ladies to make money is not the kind of man I want for myself. But a changed Charles who has turned a new leaf is the man I want and that is what he represents now. Touch character is deep-rooted. Any man who lives that kind of life can never change. Really, Mom? Meaning you are still into that same immoral act and can never change. Meddling! What is it, Mother? What? Did you just insult me? Insult you, you say? No, I did not. That is the conclusion I can draw from your arguments. Or am I wrong? You just insulted me because of a gigolo? Will you withdraw that statement? Why are you flaring up? I asked mom, why are you flaring up? Oh, so it's easy for you to change. You can turn a new leaf, but you don't believe Charles can change. How nice. Well, I have told you all you need to know. And I still maintain my stand. You will not marry Charles. He has an ugly past that will haunt you forever. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, mother. I don't judge people by their past. Everyone has a past. Charles is my man. And I am sticking with him. A classless man. A man who sleeps with women for money. A man who almost went down with me. <laughs> Will never be my in-law. I feel so ashamed of myself. 
But you did the honorable thing, Frank. No, I don't think so. I feel so belittled. I can't even face her again. Stop sounding like this. Remember we're in this pit together. Is your daughter still insisting on going on with Charles? Yeah. Hi. That's a big problem. Because that kind of guy is not supposed to be seen anywhere close to that, your innocent daughter. Now you understand my point. But she doesn't want to hear me out. Did you offer him money already? I did. You wouldn't believe I offered him as much as 10 million naira. You know what he told me? That no amount in this world will make him leave my daughter. That he loves her so much. Wait, 10 million naira? Yes. And he rejected it. <laughs> hey, that means he's a changed person. Because the child that I know would do anything for money. Come on, Rita. He's a pretender. And you know it. Are you sure about that? We're talking about a guy who has mastered the act of playing with women's emotions. A guy who knows how to make a woman very vulnerable. He's not just out to destroy my daughter, but my entire world. And I will not allow that to happen. Hmm. You have a point there. I understand where you're coming from now. Thank you, Rita. But then, we must find a way to solve this whole problem. Because your daughter genuinely loves this guy. We cannot dismiss her feelings just like that. Think about it. Why would you barge into my house like that? Are you normal? I'm not normal. And you are going to see madness today. Oh, not today. Come on. Not today, please. 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 I'm not ready for this drama. Okay? I have things set out for today. Amaka, please just go. Get out of my house, please. Please. I should. Get out. Bounce. Get out. Yeah, get out. Well, I'm here for us to talk. Yes. I want us to talk. I am not ready to have a conversation with you, all right? Just go. Okay, please. We'll soon find out if you're in the mood for a discussion or not. Amaka. I said I want us to talk. Amaka. Amaka, that... That's a good, you're holding. Amaka, please. Just lower the gun. Lower the gun, please. Hi. What do frustrated people do with a gun? I, I don't know, eh? I, 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 sorry, man. I just lower the gun now. Please, don't kill me. Don't, don't shoot me. I'm not here to joke with you. I, 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 slow, slow down. Just slow down. Slow down. See, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, but you say you want to talk. It's okay. We, we can talk. Whatever it is, we can, we can talk. We can talk. I thought you said you were not in the mood for a conversation. Uh, no, I, I, no, I was just joking. Now, nah. <laughs> I was, I was just. And you think I'm here to joke with you? No, mm -mm. you are not joking. You are not joking. Hey, you are that gun. Now, don't shoot me. Sit down. Let's talk. I will sit down. Just sit. Sit. Mm -hmm. I'm sit. I'm sitting down. <laughs> you are the gun now. <laughs> Hmm. Let me take you down memory lane before shooting you in the head. Amaka, Amaka, please, Amaka. <laughs> so you can be this humble. Now I know why they say you can't argue with anyone with a gun. You know, I had seen you and you caught my eyes. And I told myself, hey, why not? Why not just walk in here and make our acquaintance? That's why I'm here. I'd like to get to know you. You're a beautiful woman. I dare to say, one of the finest that I have seen in a long time. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yes. You're making me blush. 
Oh, really? Ah, oh, sounds good to me. If getting a beautiful woman like you to blush, be all that I achieve at the end of today, then I'm fulfilled. I like you. I really do like you. I like you too. What? I'm in luck then. <laughs> right? Because it means that we're two people of like minds. How do you mean? I mean, I'm just getting to meet you. I know that I like you. But it was pleasing to hear that you like me too. Now, that doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> ah. How about I get your number so that we can talk from time to time, you know? Yeah, I make the bond stronger. Please. Let me have your phone. You want my phone? Of course. You freely gave me your phone? Yeah. You wanted a phone? <laughs> what if I run with your phone? Stop it now. I'm in your shop. This this is your place, right? Ah, uh, don't be too sure about that. What if it's not my shop? Well, then, if losing my phone to the most beautiful woman that I have seen in a long time be my fate today, then so be it. Hmm. It's just a phone. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Honestly, you caught me there. You caught me there. Okay. One more thing. I love just how you smile. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Thank you. I owe you no explanation, Amaka. Actually, Charles, you owe me an explanation. No, I don't. Who is the lady I saw you with at the boutique? Not your business. Charles, so you are cheating on me. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't even pretend about it. Don't! Who? I see you want to make noise today. When well, you're done making noise, see yourself out of this place. Okay? Come back, come back here, come back here. Where do you think you are going? Eh? Where do you think you are going to? Did you just pull me? Yes, I did. Oh! And I'm going to do that over and over again, if you dare me. Amaka, please, I beg you, in the name of everything that matters, just pull me one more time so that I can give you the big thing of your life. Please, pull me. Oh, I thought you would. God! God! Ah! How? How on earth? I see like that. I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming. I didn't know he was like that. I didn't see this coming. Why are you so stubborn? Why are you like this? Obi, my baby. Hmm? Oh, no. My king. Please. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry the way I spoke to you the other day. I promise. It will never, ever happen again. Please. You are sure? Yes. You, you can count on it. I promise. <laughs> it's okay. 
Baby? Hey, is that your way of saying you have forgiven me? Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So I talk about you all the time. You are always the best. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay. Please, can you just make something to eat? Then? Of course, my love. So tell me, what do you want to eat? Anything, just proper food this time. Of course. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Kitchen here, I come. <laughs> What did you say? I said something fresh. Really nice. Okay. <laughs> All this and many more have given me reasons to blow your head off. Oh, please don't do it. I know you have every right to, 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 to do that right now, but please, please. Don't do it. There is another woman in your life. Oh, not at all. That woman I saw you with at the boutique. There's no woman, I'm telling you. Lie to me again, and I will reunite you with your ancestors. Okay. We'll return the gun. There is somebody, there's a woman. Please. Please. I see. Who is she? Oh, you don't know her. Amaka, you don't know her. Like, not someone you know. I know. But you are going to give me her name and her home address. Amaka, please don't, don't do this. Please, I'm begging you. Please. You have five seconds to do that. And your time starts now. Amaka, please, I'm sorry. Don't... Five. Amaka, please. Four. I'm begging you. Don't, 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 don't. Three. Don't do this, Amaka. Two. You know what? I don't need it again. Because your time is up. Now say hello to hell. <laughs> Come in. I'm a girlfriend. Mm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm. Just that your friend, they fall my hand. Hey. I told you you said it was over between the both of you. Mm? Is that not a marker? Hey. hey. What's the mm? Hey. Say something. You're still in this game, right? Hmm? You're still in this game. I say, hey, ha. What? He has refused to give me a listening ear. Then what could be the reason? I've tried talking to him for over five times. Trying to bring him close to me as usual. It is all failed. This boy seems to have changed. Exactly. You know, this thing is in his blood. I mean, he cannot do without what we are asking him for. You know what I mean? Then, why have we failed to get his attention? We? We how? Well, I've been trying to get his attention, but to no avail. And you? Yes, me. You mean you've been having feelings for him all this while and you didn't let me know? You've been pretending as if you don't love him, you don't have feelings for him. Why are you like this? I am not trying to keep him or anything. Yes, I just want to catch Cruz, you know? Have fun. Cruz? Yes. But you've been with Ifai in your house for weeks. I mean, you should be okay with him. Look at this one. Who is Ifan? That vegetable? <laughs> if Annie cannot take a woman to cloud nine effortlessly. Yes, he's not a man. Are you trying to tell me that if Annie is not man enough? If Annie is a 15 seconds man, 
He cannot rock get me on bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> See your mouth. Mm. <laughs> rock get you. <laughs> this girl, you are mm. a bad girl. Yes, so. <laughs> For you to be categorized as a real man, mm -hmm. you must be able to drive me crazy. Mm. At the moment, Charles is the real man. That's why I can pay double of what you have been paying him to get his attention. Can you leave this guy for me and concentrate with your Wi-Fi? Oh. Alpha. Hi. Maka is not around. Yes. Do you know when she will come back or where she could possibly be? No, bros. Any problem? No. Maka thinks she can get me angry, Abby. She thinks she can play with me. She doesn't know she's playing with fire. Let her know fire burns. Any problem? No. But you're angry. If there is anything, you can talk to me. She's my friend. We can sort it out. All I can tell you is this. I'm a the fuck up. And I will treat her fuck up today. Serious. Bros, if there is anything, Wrong. Just talk to me, okay? Please. Talk to you on to it. I'll get business with you. Bros, I beg no vessel. Sorry. See, as you see me like this, eh? Uh, body they pepper me. Body they pepper me well up. So it's not advice you be say, day your lane. Make a day my name. In the army. But you're not boiling now. I don't see how since I talk too much. You need to like mind your business. You don't get mad to talk. I don't want you that day you're lane. The good news we say nobody carry me come here. Now my car can't find. In the army. So cock your cock, my cock my cock. I don't get mad out with you. Only God knows the kind of business Amaka transacted with this rascal. On a, on a, very, on a very good day, self has gone walk you out. I've only just got you cruise first. Come back on your face. Uju, what is it? Amaka, where are you? I'm on my way to the shop. There is an angry mean looking girl here waiting for you. Who? I don't know. I've not seen him before. I, I don't even know his name. What does he look like? He's dark, looking mean. I just... Oh, that should be Lucas. He's very angry. As a matter of fact, He's threatening to deal with you. Don't worry, he will not do anything to me. Are you sure? I'm sure. Hold on, where are you calling me from now? I just, I just need outside to make this place. Go back to the shop. I'm on my way there. Okay. I'm not going to deny what happened. But I need you were to. earning a living from his right. How did you even decide to earn a living doing such a dirty job? <sighs> Baby, I. I... 
I was just a victim of life and its, its ups and downs, baby. A young man running around, chasing contracts, you know, trying to make something out of his life. Nothing was working. You know, and one thing led to the other. I, 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 I found myself being lured into this act with, with, with these women because, because they were offering money and, and, and all of that. And before I could tell, they, they had, you know, built a structure that made it very complex and difficult for me to step out, even if I had wanted to. It was almost as if, you know, something was going to go wrong. No, no I... amount of defense would justify what you have done. I know, and that is why I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, sorry is not just enough. I know. But I've got you here to tell you my truth, baby, please. Please, don't judge me. Life was hard. I didn't know what else to do. Everyone deserted me. At a point, my friends were not taking my calls anymore. I didn't know what to do. I, I needed to feed. I needed to, you know, have a roof over my head. I was searching for jobs. Were not, nothing was working. You know, when these women came at me, you know, because of my good looks, you know, I'm sorry to say, baby, I had to use what I have to get what I wanted at the time. I'm sorry. I promise you I am a changed man now. Please. Can I ask you a question? By all means, baby, go ahead. What do you intend to do from now? I don't understand. I mean, do you intend to continue with this kind of life? Never. I made up my mind to opt out of that life the moment I set my eyes on you. How am I supposed to believe that? Because you're my light. Because I know what you... what you bring. Because I have never witnessed the kind of light you have brought to my life since the day I was born. I love you, baby. And I'm not going to lose you. Please, I beg that you trust me and just give us a chance. Please, don't let our love die. Please let our love live. And I promise you, you'll not regret it. Please. Uh, 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 small madam, where are you coming from? First off, my name is not Small Madam. I don't want to slap you for no reason. Secondly, what sort of stupid question is that? Huh? Are you a madman? No, are you stupid? Uh, at first, first of all, I'm not stupid, I'm not mad. Yes, because your mother has been worried since morning looking for you. Namdi. 
this should be the last time you will insult me. If my mother has instructed you to start insulting me, resist that temptation. Because if I deal with you, even your wife that has been married to you for the last 10 years will not recognize you. You said? Mm, I said, mm. uh, Like I said earlier, I am the CSO of this house. Hmm. So it is my duty to know who goes in and comes out. Yeah? Now, to make this, I don't want to use force on you. Because you are too beautiful for me to use force. You understand? The next time you try this, I'll lock you outside. You will lock me outside? Yeah, hey, I'll lock you outside the gate. Hey, Nandi, you are threatening me in my own mother's house. I'm not threatening you. I'm just telling you now for, for you to make this work very easy for me. <laughs> for both of us. You understand? Just make my I'm doing my job. Make this job very easy for me. You know the problem I have? The problem is actually with myself. That I actually take my time to stand and listen to you talk nonsense. I don't have your time. If you like, call it nonsense. Bastard. If you like, call it anything you like. You know, consign me. Just make this work very easy for me. And you, like I said. Because the next time you try this thing, it'll me, you know. My also. I can see you're out to ridicule me in this town, right? There is nothing like that, Mom. That is exactly what you're doing. And I will not take that from you. What do you want from me, Mother? What do you want? I have spoken to you the way a daughter will speak to her mother. I love this man. I deeply love Charles. Why can't you just let us be? I had an extensive discussion with him today. Mother, he promised that he has changed. Let him be, please. The earlier you understand that that relationship will not work, the better for you. Charles is a gold digger. He is out to ruin you. And it will be a grave mistake on my side to allow that happen to you. That is not true, Mom. He genuinely loves me. Charles is a chronic pretender. Once he gets what he wants, you won't know when he will leave you. Mom, this young man holds you in high esteem. Why don't you just give him a chance? At least get to know him now. Why am I even having this discussion with you? I do not want to see Charles around you. If I continue to see him around you, I will arrest him for kidnap. What? I will send him to prison. Madeline, don't say you don't know what your mother can do. Mother, please stop. Stop this. This is not fair. This young man loves your daughter. Can't you see it? At least you have felt love before. You should be able to, you should be able to feel it when a man loves a woman. Really? Madeline, let me tell you. I am not one of those women that their daughters use sentiments to weaken them. I do not want to see him around you. I just want you to imagine life without Charles. To do you better. It won't happen. That will be over my dead body. You would have to kill me to achieve that. Medley. Don't push me to the wall, because I will kill you on that wall. Look, Amaka, that was real dangerous play. You should not have done that. That was too extreme. Eric, all that belongs in the past. All I can say is that he was lucky. You came in the time you did. Honestly, not in my wildest dreams will I believe you can pull such a tantrum. What came over you? He toyed with my heart. And all I did was to make sure he never toy with the heart of a woman that loves him. Amaka, where did you get the gun from? You are not expecting me to answer that, are you? If I was not expecting you to answer that, I would not have asked. Where did you get the gun from? Expecting me to answer that is like asking me to tell you 
how I make out with my boyfriend. You're deviating. I'm not. Since you didn't want to tell me where you got the gun from, so what's the next move? What's the conclusion? Well, I have moved on with my life. So let him go to hell with his useless life. No more guns, no more threats. No more. After all, he's not the only man in this world. He is not the only man. Excuse me. Hello? You're standing by my car? I hope all is well. Okay. You'll see me now, I'll be right out. Awesome. Um, just a little business I have to take care of. I'm okay. I'll see you later, okay? You take care of yourself. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. I have a job for you. A job? What kind of job? If you succeed in this job, I am going to pay you five million naira. But if you don't, I'll give you 300k. Ma, did you just say five million naira? Mm -hmm. What an offer. What exactly do you want me to do? I entered a bet with some of my friends about a particular guy. You know, they are telling me that the guy cannot fall in love with another person. Mm. But I told them that he will actually fall for a particular charming lady. So I want to prove them wrong. Is that all? Yes. Are you in? Ma, look at me. Am I still charming enough to attract this said man? Do not underestimate yourself. Because if you start, there's no going back. So you have to think this through before embarking on this journey. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I like your guts. Thank you. So tell me, where, where do I meet this said man? That is not a problem. You will start as soon as possible. Okay. I will send you all the details you need via WhatsApp. Okay. I'm game. Okay. Make sure you do a good job. I will. Trust me. All right. Okay. Um, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know your schedule. But it will be my pleasure if you can make out time for us to travel to my village this weekend. Your village? What's happening there? I want to introduce you to my parents and also seek their marital blessings. <laughs> and what makes you feel that there is something more important than that? Come on, Pascal. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there is this thing about you. Mm -hmm. You are just a special woman. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, my darling. Thank you. Okay, tell me. What and what are we buying for this trip? Hmm? Yes. I am the one who is traveling with you, right? Mm-hmm. That means this journey is at my call. Come on. I am the one who should be buying anything we may need. Baby, we are getting married. Man and wife, we are getting married. So I can probably contribute to my little quota. Come on. I see. Yes. <laughs> All right then. All right. Ah, this is good. Um, I guess I'll have to leave you to do your business. Oh, baby, so soon. I'm missing you already. Come I know, on. but you wouldn't want me to sleep here. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> not you, boy. <laughs> hmm. So I'll leave and we'll talk over the phone, okay? Of course, my darling. I'll miss you. But please, do take good care of yourself. And be careful out there, please. You can be so sure of that. <laughs> okay, my darling. All right. Um, mm. Mm. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs>
You too, baby. <laughs> Not so I, you. I'll see you soon, okay? Okay, baby. Yeah, be good. All right. Take care of yourself. Sure, Chai! Hmm. God, you do this one, oh. You do this one. Hey? And I was busy chasing that useless fool called Charles. Look at how tall this one is. God, I love you. <laughs> I can't wait to get married! Let me give you the final orientation before you finally hit the ground running. Okay, ma. You will use the car in this compound throughout the game. You will act like a desperate young lady who is out to spoil a young man. Then gradually get him into accepting to marry you. Don't worry, ma. You don't have to educate me. I know exactly what you want me to do. Chine, already acting like a pro. <laughs> well, don't hesitate to call me if you encounter any problem. Okay, ma. I will. Good luck. Thank you, ma. How you doing, Ali? Huh? What? How are you? I'm fine. Oh, well, you're not fine now. Come <laughs> on. You didn't sound very fine on the phone. What's the problem? You okay? I'm fine. I said I'm fine. No, you're not fine, baby. What is it? I'm okay. All right, I'm here. You wanted to see me? Yes. I want to free you so you can move on with your life. What are you talking about? Free, free, free me from what? I want to take all my belongings that is in your possession. What are you talking about? What's going on? I want to take the car. What? The refrigerator. Ah. The generator. And the phone you are currently using. Oh, come on. I... What is the problem? We're not fighting now. Can I have the keys? Listen. Listen. Things are not done this way now. That is quite embarrassing. How do you intend for me to go home? I think, why, why would you want... I don't care how you go home. You can go anywhere. I don't care. All I need is the car keys. You can book a bike. You can take a taxi. It's not my business. Can I have the car keys? And... Uh, okay, I understand that you might have need for your car, but... Can I please bring it over to yours weekend, please? Please. No. I need it right now. Maybe by weekend I'll come with a pickup van and pick every of my belongings that is in your house. What? Is it that serious? The keys. Give me the keys. And the phone. Anne. I bought it for you. Ah. What exactly is in this car that she just can't let go? Hmm? Hey. 
Can you handsome? Hello, beautiful. Mm. And why is a nicely dressed, handsome man like you walking under the scorching sun? Story of my life, baby. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So can I have the honor of giving you a ride to wherever you're going? Ah, don't worry, I'll pass. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm almost at my house. I, I stay, I... Sweetheart, even if you're standing by your gate, I want to give you a ride into your compound. You want to ride? You say you want to ride me? <laughs> okay, well, the thing is, I stay pretty close. Uh, my house is just behind the stadium. And by that, you mean Azikiwe Road? Oh, I see. You're quite familiar with the access, right? My darling, I was born and bred in this town, so I know every nook and cranny. Well, well, well. I see that a beautiful woman has just won the argument. Okay, it's good. It's all right. That's okay. I'll just hop right into the oh, car and then you, oh, you ride me home. Oh, right away, baby. Right away. <laughs> You're so funny, you know that. Thank you. Annie, yes. is there no chance car is so out there? Huh, Madam, it's my car and I've taken it back. Annie! Why? You and I know that you don't need that car. <sighs> Yes, I don't need it. But it's, it's part of the testing. It's part of, you no know, trying to know if he's fit for Franca's daughter. Yes. Don't you, don't you think you're taking this too far? I don't think so, madam. But you are, my dear. Fine. Yes. That's by the way. I learned a lady, Franca employed her cook to do the job. Hmm. That's what she told me. But why the cook when there are other girls out there who can do the job perfectly? <clears throat> she believes in her. So let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Oh. Hey, so what are you going to do with that car now? Mm. I'll give it to him back if he wins. <laughs> what if he fails? Then I'll give it to my kid brother. Oh. Honestly, Charles wouldn't believe this is happening to him. What the... <laughs> what is coming with each other so bad? I like your car. Feels quite smooth, you know. Thank you. You're welcome. This is actually one of them. Really? Like one out of many? I have like four more cars. Oh wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Life and it's in balance. You know, have some of us out here. You know, hoping to get just one car, then you have four. You mean you need a car? Of course, I mean, it aids mobility. Who wouldn't want a car? Well, that's not an issue. Okay. That's my turn, you just missed it. I know. Right, that's, that's a turn to my house. I know. Why are you taking me? Are you scared? Oh, well, I don't know what to think, but seriously, I'd like to know where you're taking me. So what can an innocent woman possibly do to you. It's like a chill pill, I mean no harm. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Chini, and you are? I'm Charles. Well, Chini, I tell you, you are far from being innocent. Yeah, because you read my mind, you know exactly what I want. So tell me, uh -huh. where are you taking me? Well, I just want us to go to a very serene environment and have a discussion over a chilled bottle of wine. You see why I say you read my mind? Mm, really? Yeah. So that means I am in the spirit. Always. <laughs> Chini. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's ball then. <laughs> are you going to stare at me all day like that? Of course I can do that all day. But I'm staring at you because I have a whole lot going on in my mind already. I'd love for you to let me into your thoughts. Not to worry. I'll tell you when it's time, okay? <laughs> That'll be nice. So tell me, what do you do for a living? Hmm? What puts food on your table. That one. <laughs> oh, well, I'm as jobless as they come, you know. I'm a part-time contractor. Sometimes when it comes, I take it. If it doesn't come, you know, 
if it doesn't come, I keep praying. You know, well, I, for the most, really, I'm I'm jobless. I'm job hunting. Oh. Are you a graduate? Business administration, baby. That's nice. So tell me, what if I offer you something more lucrative than a job? What can that be? Not to worry. I'll tell you tomorrow, or maybe over the weekend. Why can't you tell me now? Just because I brought you here to have a drink with me. And also to admire your cuteness. You are a beautiful woman yourself. Oh, please. Still just. <laughs> a whole lot of men say that to me on a daily, so it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. If you must compliment me, then you have to say something better than that. You want to hear something? Sure. I'll tell you the next time we sit out. Seats for tart, huh? I get it. <laughs> so, is that your own way of agreeing that we are going to meet again? You'll have to stop being crafty. Am I now? <laughs> you think you're not? Mm, drink up. Good evening, Ma. Good evening. So, how did it go? It went well, Ma. Brief me in details. From the look of things, I think he will fall for me, Ma. We yeah. had a brief discussion. Make it happen. Sure, Ma. I will. When are you going to meet with him again? Tomorrow or weekend. I'm expecting good news from you. Trust me, Ma, you'll hear one. Thank you. You may leave. Thank you, Ma. Um. <clears throat> so, young man, who are you? I'm here to see my dear. You see aware that you are coming? Is it not your job as a security man here to go find out if she, she's expecting me or not? Is it? See, I'm the CSO of this house. So it is my duty to protect everyone living in this house. You understand me? The insecurity in this country is too much. I be, you know the Nigeria? Well, look, like a thief to you. Don't write right for face, my brother. If you say, nowadays they appear gentle, smart like you. With you. Why are you this anxious? Madam, I want to see Madam. You want to see Madam? Mm -hmm. Is that why you're running and panting like someone is a ghost is, is after you? I'm pressed. I'm pressed. Julia, what is wrong with you? If you're pressed, why not use the restroom? Okay, ma. Okay. Okay. Come, 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 come. I'm, I'm, I'm not done talking to you. Listen, my man is around. I need you to fix him something to eat. Huh? Eh? Fix him food to eat. Okay. 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 Hey! What is after you? Ma, he's here. Who? Charles. Charles is a regular visitor here. Huh? Yes! Hey! Ma! Hmm? What is going on here? 
Let me explain it to you. Charles is a gold digger who is after my daughter because of what he can get from her. So I want you to destroy that intention by luring him away from her. Hey! Right, if it makes you feel any better, um, she's expecting me today. I do, grandma, I just did the blows in. See, make I tell you something. Not be only you go to school, though. Me, said I go to school. If not be the kind uh, gov bad government, bad leaders will go for this country. I for no office by now. This is absolutely ridiculous. Unbelievable. She's just expecting you. Can you just let me through, please? Now, what if you talk since my day, they, they blow grandma. Uh, 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 a young man, uh, who are you to wear again? I'm a fiancé. <laughs> a fiancé. Ma, you lied to me. Can you calm it's down? What you told me. <sighs> Ma, how do you think Medlin will feel about this? Forget that. We'll do it in such a way that nobody will know we're responsible. Hi. Ma, I don't think it will be possible again, no. How do you mean? Because Madeline already asked me to fix him food to eat. Just be in your room, I'll handle that. Oh. It's not a problem. Room? Yes. Or kitchen. I said be in the room. Suppressing your voice. Hey, baby! <laughs> Hiya. Oh, you're beautiful. Mm. You're just so beautiful. Okay, that's not true. I'm just casually dressed. What's casual about how you look, baby? You look beautiful. <laughs> Everything about you is just so sweet. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, your mom, is she in? Yeah, she is. So I can go in and say hi. Of course, that is the right thing to do. Okay, sure. Why not? You look good yourself. I just try. Ah! Oh, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> just stop it! Come in. <laughs> You're welcome, Charles. Thank you, ma'am. Um, well, excuse me, mom. Babes, I'll be back. Where are you going? I want to check on the cook, mom. Why? I asked her to fix something for Charles. You asked the cook to fix something for your man? Wait. So if I'm not around, you allow the cook to prepare something for your man? That's why she's been paid to be a cook. No, she's paid to cook for the house and not for your man. Baby, your mom is right. <sighs> All right. I'll fix you something. Good. That is the right thing to do. I'll be back in a few Feel free, Charles. Thank you, ma. Baby. Yeah, baby. I can see you're enjoying yourself. Oh, well, mm. I can see of you. Oh. Mm. Nice. What is it with my drink? Let me have my drink. <laughs> Food is ready. Come oh, on. That was fast. Really? That was slow. That was a joke. How about your mom? Is she joining us? I think I want some. Mm. Can, can I just stop? <laughs> <laughs> you're ridiculous. Is she joining us? Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, my 
Did you enjoy the food? I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. That's nice. That's nice. I loved it. Why, why is your face I, like that? Are you sure you did? I loved it. Seriously. Uh, I, loved, I loved the food. That means meddling is one step close to your heart. Then what is that supposed to mean, Mom? You know, they told us that good food is the gateway to a man's heart. Oh, Mom, please. Stop. <laughs> Charles just confirmed that your food tastes nice, so you're one step close to his heart. Mm. True. Oh, well, yeah, I think it's true. I mean, my mother used to say that a lot to my kid sister. Mm. Oh, we're growing up, you know, trying to get her to be a good cook. And... Well, we're Africans, and you can't take that away from us. You know, an African woman who cannot cook is not completely considered as an African woman. Well, knowing how to cook has got nothing to do with being an African or not. I'm not going to argue with you on that, okay? Um, Charles, I want to officially welcome you to my home. You're free to come around anytime, any day. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. One more thing. I want you to know that Medlin is the apple of my eyes. Whatever affects her, affects me. So please, do take care of her. I will take care of her. I promise you. Thank you. My heart is at peace hearing that from you directly. Thank you so much, Mom. You don't know what this meant to me. Thank you for accepting him. You're worth emulating, Mom. You sound so sweet. Mom, I am sweet and you know it. <laughs> Happy for the two of you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, dear. <laughs> so, tell me, how did it go? Oh, Charles' visit. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Uh huh, really. <laughs> so, inviting Charles over did not bring any problem between you and your mom. On the contrary, she was pretty excited with his visit. Really? Mm hmm. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you. Girl, I am happy for me. I am so excited. But in this whole drama, mm -hmm. you are the hero. How? What do you mean, how? Girl, your advice kept me from doing the unthinkable. Thank you. What are friends for? If not for inconveniences, but I appreciate you, girl. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me. Mm -hmm. oh. When is it happening? When is what happening? Oh, please, don't give me that look. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know what you're talking about. Very soon. Pretty how, soon. How soon? Ah, <clears throat> Aproko, I say very soon. Ooh. You know, I can't wait to, you know, put on my fine dress and, you know... Ah, come on! Eh? Eh? Thank <laughs> So, how did it go? Perfect. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, the almighty Lady Franca has finally permitted you to go ahead and marry her daughter? Finally. Wow. Finally. Yeah, it was a hard fought battle, you know, to convince her to let me and the love of my life be. But yeah, I'm happy. You know, we have our consent now, so we can just rock and roll. Cool, cool. Uh, so, how about this? That um, lady you told me about, this new one who wants to splash a lot of cash on you. Oh, that one. Uh, what about her? What about her? Yeah. You mean you're not going to have a last romp with her and get all the money in the world? Nah, I'm done with that life now. Come on. Nah. Come on. Charles. Don't tell me you're not going to explore the woman and make all the money in the world before you finally walk down the aisle with Medley. Mm. I'm no longer at that game. Nah. Really? Mm. Charles, as a king of birds, <laughs> taking off at the sight of a witch woman? I don't believe that. Hello? Oh, well, um, there must always come a point in a man's life where when he has to become responsible. So let's just see about that point now. <laughs> it's not like I'm running, but, you know. Okay, okay, good for you. So, so where's your car? I didn't see it outside. The owner took it. Ah. Lady Anne? 
Yeah, she took the car. Oh, not just the car, she took the, the refrigerator she got me, took the phone. To be, I, I think it was rather petty, but you know, she's a woman, so I mean, it's understandable. Right? That one, I never liked her. Never. She's the worst of all your doings. <laughs> <laughs> I never ever liked her. Well, good for her. Goodbye to bad rubbish. Yeah. It's only natural. I mean, the game is up. The game is over. Um, so naturally, the football players would, would leave the football pitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're planning a wedding now. You can say that again now. The great Charles Ezenono is getting married. Has been retired by the woman he loves. So it's goodbye, madams. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>
I will not do it. What? Excuse you? Why? Because I can't. And I ask, why? I have a woman that I have fallen in love with here in my country and I'm not going anywhere without her for I intend to make her my wife. Charles. Very, very soon. Charles. Charles, are you normal? Oh yes, I'm very normal. Listen, this is a lifetime opportunity that I am offering you. Do you know that a whole lot of young men out there will sacrifice anything, and I mean anything, to get this opportunity? I get it. But the thing is, I'm quite different from a lot of young men. Oh. I love my woman, and I'm not going anywhere without her. Oh, here you are, I am. Uh, I want to have a conversation with you. Okay. Um. Um. I was thinking if you can get Charles a job through your office. I would have loved to do that, but the way it is now, getting a job in the state now. Very difficult. Mom, Chief Okwara is your godfather. I'm certain there is nothing you've ever asked of him that he didn't do. I Just know. talk to him. I'm pretty sure he will be willing to help. Please. Chief Okwara never disappoints. But that is because I've not asked anything ridiculous from him. Come on, mother. This is not ridiculous. This is my man we are talking about. Let me break it down for you. Chief Okbala is preparing for campaigns. He wants to return three governors and ten senators. It would be insane for me to present this to him at this time. Okay, Mom, meaning um, there will be hope after the election? Yeah. I believe if he wins, there is hope. He will win, Mother. Chief Okbala is a good man. Yes, he is. Thank so you. let's just hope and pray he wins. He will win, mother. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. You know, I can see that you love this girl so much. And you... You do not want to let her off your sight for one second, right? Yeah, and that is because she's my world and I don't want to do anything to hurt her feelings. Oh, come on, Charles. Come on. You know I respect your decision, yeah? I do. But come on, Charles, look at me. I'm a girl too. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This is not right. What is not right? I have a girlfriend and I don't want to cheat on her. Oh, please, you sound like a broken record already. What does that even mean? What does that mean? I expect you to be all over me. Why? I mean, I expect you to be riding me like a horse, you know what I mean? Oh, well, um, oh. I'm not a horse. Neither are you a horse. We're human beings oh. and we have feelings. Oh, come on, Charles. Come on, don't be a baby. Come on. Sorry, Go I can't. Home. Stop, stop, you... stop, stop. Charles, come on. Sorry, stop. I can't do this. I'm sorry. What? I can't. I'm sorry. No, no, Charles. You... Ch 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 Look, I don't believe you turned down such a big offer. What has come over you? That was the offer of your life. Forget it. Okay. Okay. Can you introduce that woman to me? I'll swallow the offer hook, line, and sinker. What, you want to meet her? You have to find her yourself. <laughs> but, but why did you turn?
turn down such a beautiful offer? Because I love my woman. I'm in love with Madeline and I don't want to lose her. That's why. Mm. Yes. Mm. Now I know that oh, something is not okay somewhere. Oh, that's another child I used to know. Ah, whatever you choose to believe is fine, man. I'm happy. I don't believe you did this. The child I know will grab this woman and hold on tight to her. Look, okay, you deform my hand. What do you think? No. I think he looks negative. The offer I made him is one that every young man will jump at and damn the consequences. I was really surprised when he declined. Ma, I even offered him myself. But he turned me down and left. That means he truly loves my daughter. Ma, he loves Medley deeply. You have done noble. We'll talk later. Okay, Ma. Believe. Thank you, Ma. I tell you that I am the most excited and happiest woman in this world. You might misunderstand me, but trust me, love, that is the honest truth. Oh, yes! My mother had to make him go through the eye of a needle just to make sure that he is a changed man. Guess what? He surprised my mom. <laughs> oh, no, and I tell you for a fact, I am not just happy about getting married. My mom got the governor involved and he got him his dream job. <laughs> I mean, man is so excited. He's so happy. Yes. Anyway, you remember the wedding is this Saturday. I don't want to look for you. You must be there. Uh-huh. Now, married woman, you talk to now, now. 